cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Uh, I've gotten myself a new mic. I hope you all can hear this uh, video clear, clearer from now on. This is my second food uh, vlog. So I'm now in uh, Kuchai Lama, Kuala Lumpur, and I'm come to one of my uh, favorite restaurant. It's actually uh, uh, operated by uh, uh, people from China and from Sichuan. Yeah, it's actually a Sichuan food, uh, which is the uh, mala steamboat. Yeah, the the hot and spicy uh, steamboat. As you can see from here, how you can see the uh, signboard. See, okay. So this is the shop behind me. It's called Chongqing. Uh, Chongqing Mala Guo, okay, or Chongqing Xiang La Guo, something like that. So uh, let's go in and have a look. Okay, while waiting for my other ingredient to come, um, this is what the Mala steamboat looks like. It is actually, you will notice it's actually different than what you normally see outside. Uh, it's actually divided into nine different uh, square boxes. And the reason why I want to show you right now, even before it is boiling, because check out the, the box in the center. There are some uh, yellowish stuff. That is actually the cow fat. Yeah, that's actually the cow fat. Now in uh, Mala Steamboat, cow fat is actually the most important ingredient. Yeah, many people didn't realize it. So later it is going to boil, and I'm going to. I'm still waiting for my uh, my other ingredients to come. Okay, so this is uh, what my lunch is going to look like. Yes, I will sometimes go and eat Steamboat alone. Well, why alone? Basically, it's not easy to find a partner together to come and eat this. Yeah, not many people can stand this kind of uh, spiciness, especially for lunch. Okay, now let let me show you. Besides the uh, the broth, the soup, what did I order here? This is the uh, uh, mutton, mutton slices, very thick slices. I love it. Okay, it is not as, not too expensive. I think it's about 20 ringgit. And this is also my favorite, the pig intestines. Yeah, this is the more you bite on this, the more sweet natural sweetness you are going to find in your dissolve in your mouth. It is very, very tasty. And then these are for the crispiness, the mushroom, oyster mushroom slice, and also the tofu. So one thing that all these ingredients have in uh, common is if you put this put them into the the soup it will soak up all the nice uh, flavor yeah and this is what i normally prepare for my uh, dips i have a garlic or a garlic and oil and together with some fresh cilantro okay i also added in some uh, sauce inside and this is my chili oil i also added some vinegar inside and soy sauce and i always eat my uh, steamboat with rice. All right. Okay, as you can see, my uh, steamboat is now boiling. We can actually add in the uh, ingredients into the soup. Okay, I don't mind putting in the intestine earlier going to soak out the real nice flavor so some of you may ask me why is it there's nine boxes well there's some there's actually some history of it uh, many many years ago when uh, Sichuan started to eat steamboat um, it all started at the uh, at the dock yeah um, and a ship ship dock where people, where the laborers are working uh, working there carrying stuff uh, up and down from the ship and ship and what happened here is they actually gathered together and eat steamboats together using the leftover meat or leftover uh, inerts so uh, 
they actually put divide the whole soup into nine different uh, boxes so that nine different people can eat together. So each of the each of uh, each of them will have their own uh, uh, box so that their food will not mix together. That's how everything started. Okay, so I'm going to put in my lambs, my mutton. Okay, many places. In Malaysia, not just KL, when you are ordering the sliced meat, it is so thin, almost as thin as a uh, paper. I really don't see any point eating that. Okay, so I like it here because they really give you uh, a good portion of the meat. All right. Okay, we can uh, start eating right now. Uh, let me see where's my mutton. Sliced mutton, can you see? It's covered in uh, hot oil. And let me dip it into my uh, garlic and press cilantro dip. Right? Mm. Oh, fragrant. You know, many of my friends were telling me every time when they are eating with appa, they actually can eat more. They feel more appetite. Uh. <clears throat> now, the difference between this, this is called lao huo guo, by the way, did I mention it? Lao huo guo. The difference between the lao huo guo and the normal mala steamboat is basically they added a lot of the extra cow fat. And it is this extra cow fat which makes it a difference uh, how is it different basically it makes the whole broth a uh, uh, much more depth yeah it gives a the broth much more depth to the whole soup and very strong and very potent flavor of uh, numbness and also spicy yeah mm. very nice so I'll continue to finish the food and uh, if you like my video don't click the like and I, I hope you all find my second uh, food blog video much better than the first one Roti Chanai okay so I'll see you all again very soon um, it's not difficult to google for this place okay see you around bye bye